Hi everybody, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to um, another video tutorial. And I've got to tell you, I had a different video planned and already um, loaded and scheduled to go out today. Uh, but today I was thinking about something and I wanted to try it out and it worked. I was so excited. So I'm going to reschedule that one. And we're, this one's a special one. It's time sensitive. Um, as many of you know, we have an eclipse coming through on uh, Monday. And um, it's a big deal, you know, if you're in that eclipse zone. And we happen to be in the eclipse zone. So I was uh, very excited. So I'm going to show you the card first. And it just says, A Day to Remember. And look, I am so excited, so I want to show you how to make this. It, I just, I just, I'm just <laughs> speechless. I'm proud of myself. That's what I am. I'm proud of myself, <laughs> and I want to show you how to make this. So, it's, it's super easy. Okay, so we're just using these three pieces. This is our card base, so it's um, Daffodil Delight. And it's just a half sheet of cardstock, and I'll put all the measurements and supplies on my blog. Um, I have a piece of basic black that's cut four by five and a quarter. Um, before I glue this down, though, I'm going to punch. I'm going to punch our moon with a two-inch circle punch just out of the middle. We're not going to see this, so it's okay. And then uh, we're going to adhere this down. If I can find where I put my, there it is, my seal adhesive. Okay, so we're just gonna glue this layer down. And we're not gonna see that. All the magic happens here on this piece of white paper, okay? All right, so what I've done, I punched a two inch circle out of some scrap that I had. And I'm gonna use this as just a little bit of a template. I wanna make sure I can fit my sun and my moon on the card front. So they're not overlapping yet. So I'm going to um, use a blending brush and Daffodil Delight ink to color my sun. All right. So I just, I'm making sure I don't want to be too, I don't want to be too close to the edge. All right. So we are just going to get it. Whoops. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> I lost control there. I'm too excited and I lost control. All right, I want a nice bright sun. Get that line back up again, good grief. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do some rays because you know, when the eclipse comes, you're gonna see these little rays of sunlight. Okay, I might add a little bit more in a minute. And set that aside. Now we're gonna color our sky blue. And I'm using Balmy Blue. I've got this little brush and I'm going to start very lightly because I don't want to make extra marks that I don't want. And then you can you can always add color using the blending brushes. You just can't take it away. So you want to be careful when you're doing a big area like this. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of come in between our sun rays and I'll probably add a little more a little more yellow coming out. We'll see how it looks. So I'm doing my let's get the sky in. Okay. I hope my table's not wobbling. Sorry if it is. Okay. get a little darker blue over on that side. Okay, let's cover our sun with our moon. All right, we do see a little bit of yellow, but I think I want to add just a little more yellow coming out. Okay, I think that will be good. All right, perfect. Okay, we're done with our coloring. Let's stamp a couple things really quick. So I am using some Memento. I'm doing a day to remember. This is, um, I love this. Uh, it's a, it's a, <laughs> a cat 
calendar set, calendar set. But I just, I look through every single stamp that I have um, that's current and a day to remember was the best sentiment I could find. And I wanna put it right here because it's the eclipse that we wanna remember. And then for the inside, I found this sentiment that's the Easter Bunny set. It's in the annual catalog and it just says, enjoy all the little moments. Now this may be a little moment to some, may be a big moment to others, but I just thought it was a good sentiment. Sometimes you gotta search, search to find things that will work. Okay, now time to make our mechanism. Okay, what we're gonna need, I've got, I. I cut two pieces of thick white cardstock. These are three quarters by five. And I cut two because I wanted my, I need my, um, my, this to be a little bit stronger than normal. I only did one, one layer on the first one and it, it's, a, it's not as strong as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna do two layers, all right? Then we're going to punch a hole in one end to put our, just to put a string. If you wanna just stamp pull or something like that, you can. The string gives you a little more, a little more give. I'm gonna do a double string, I think. It doesn't need to be big. This is just white baker's twine. So I'm gonna do two lengths and I'm even gonna trim this down more because it doesn't have to be long. We wanna make sure it fits in the envelope if you're mailing this or putting it in an envelope. Whoops, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Take those two strings, fold them in half, then put the folded end through the hole. All right, come on, let's get it all in there. Evenly. Okay, then get that loop. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I'm struggling with this today. Here we go. This is the hardest part, apparently. So stick your tails through those two loops and pull it tight. There we go. Okay, I don't need that much, so we're just gonna cut it off and just have a little bit. Okay, now, what I want to do is position my strip behind my circle, and I just want a little bit coming out of the edge. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over, and then I'm taking some of our adhesive strips. I'm gonna take this one, get it straight, and I put it right against the edge. I'm gonna grab this other one, grab another one. I'm gonna cut off just a little bit though because I need a stopper so that it doesn't go past. So I'm gonna put a stopper right there and then we're gonna put another piece over here. So what we're doing is making a channel for our for our pull, our little pull tab there. All right, so you wanna make sure you can pull it and it's gonna slide. Okay, then we've gotta, we've gotta pop up these corners. And I use the same thing because if you use a regular dimensional, they're not as thick as this, this um, strip is. So if you're doing something like this. You wanna use the strip for your other corners as well. So it's all the same, you know, elevation. All right, so here's the back. We have our channel, we have a stopper, and we have, you know, some dimensionals to cover the corners, all right? So what we wanna do is before we remove any of the backing or stick it, we want to pull this so it's behind the sun, okay? Now, when I I can look up in the light. I don't know, it's probably hard to see. Um, 
but you can look through this to the light to make sure it's behind there. All right, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put two magnets here. Now you need little skinny magnets. I bought these on Amazon. They're um, eight, miller, eight millimeter by one millimeter. So they're very small. I need four of these. These are, these are very strong. Okay, I've got four. I wanna make sure they're all going the same direction when I uh, adhere them down. So I'm gonna use just, these are thin glue dots left over from Paper Pumpkin. That's why I'm using these instead of the regular because I need them thin. So always, you know, always save those from Paper Pumpkin. Okay, peel off the backing. Well, let's see, one at a time. All right, so I'm going to glue, I adhere this one down right about there. They're not gonna be too far apart. Okay, I wanna make sure I get these going the same way. Okay, put that one on there and then put it next to it right about there. That should be that should be good, and I want to make sure that they go in behind my sun. And I'm just going to look up at the light so that they're they're going to be right there. Okay. Now the last thing I want to do, making sure that these are my they're right here. Flip this over. I don't want my I don't want to pull this all the way out or pull it past where it needs to be. So I'm putting it right where I want it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of baker's twine. And what we're going to do is put a stop on this. I'm going to stick it right here to that, to that tape. I'm going to pull it tight so it's not going to go, when I pull it, it won't go past there. So we're going to just tape that, a little bit of scotch tape right here. Whoops. All right, I got to fix that. I probably should have stuck that under. Maybe I'll do that. All right, so it's taped to there. I'm gonna peel this off and put another piece. I'm gonna tape it to the bottom. Right there. Let's, let me grab another piece of this. I think it'll be stronger if I do it that way. Okay, all right, so I've got this taped. So see, it won't go past, as long as I don't pull real hard, but it shouldn't go past where I want it to go. All right, so let's keep this pulled out for right now. We can get rid of the extra. Well, these aren't gonna cut. Let's try our ribbon scissors. All right, so leave this pulled out. Let's peel all of our backings off. Okay, we're gonna hold this in place, pick it up, and then we are going to center it over our back black piece. Okay, now we can slide that in. All right, but I'm gonna pull it out. So we're almost there. I'm gonna lay this on top. And when I'm gonna take these other two magnets and I'm gonna drop them onto my sun. So right now they're already stuck to my magnets. Now watch. <laughs> it's magic, right? Okay, so those are where I want it to go right where I need them to be. So we're gonna put glue dots on the top of these. Okay, peel off that backing. And then we're going to stick our moon on top, just like that. All right, ready? Here we go. There it goes. 
And that is it. It's done. The card is done. Okay, let's try it again. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know who I'm going to send these to, but I just think these are the funnest things ever. And then, and this comes off, but you want to make sure, you know, you want to get positioned the right way to go back on. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Um, enjoy Eclipse Day. It's Monday, um, Monday afternoon for those of you in Northeast Arkansas or all through Arkansas. We go, you know, goes from the bottom, bottom west to the top east. So, um, yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's project and I will see you next time. All right. Bye, everyone.